Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, October 16th, 2019 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and I am recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Well, looks like Adobe's patch Tuesday came a week late and today we got four different Adobe bulletins to talk about. Probably the most important of the updates affects Adobe Acrobat and Raider. A total of 68 vulnerabilities are being fixed here and 45 of them are rated as critical and allow arbitrary code execution. In addition to this, we got an update for the Adobe Download Manager. This fixes a DLL hijacking vulnerability. Then we got an update for Adobe Experience Manager Forms. This also fixes a single vulnerability, a cross-site scripting issue. And finally, we do have an update for the Adobe Experience Manager that fixes 12 different vulnerabilities. So really the Adobe Acrobat and Reader vulnerabilities are probably the big one here that you should address quickly. Now we got nothing for Flash here and Flash of course is the important one when it comes to synchronizing the Adobe Patch Tuesday with Microsoft's Patch Tuesday because it is integrated into browsers. So the reason that uh, these updates are arriving not in sync with Microsoft's Patch Tuesday is not an indication that these are super critical. Actually, the priority, as uh, Adobe calls it, is pretty much two for all of these vulnerabilities, meaning that there is no exploit expected to be imminent. And users of Symantec endpoint protection client reported on various forums a blue screen of death yesterday. Turns out that Symantec apparently did release a bad update on Monday. The affected version is the intrusion prevention signature version 2019-1014-R61. Symantec released an update R62 that fixes the issue and also released a very brief sort of knowledge base article about this problem. Now you may have to backdate the virus definitions in Symantec Endpoint Protection Manager to actually get a working system back. And if you're then running live updates, you should be able to download the fixed R62 release. And if you're using a Mac, you probably have seen some of these fake Flash Player advertisements that keep popping up if you are browsing in particular with Safari. Now, this is nothing new, it has been going on for years, uh, pretty much ever since Flash sort of wasn't uh, included in OS X and uh, well, the latest version of this particular campaign is called uh, Schleyer, according to Confiant, a company that just looked at the most recent version of this threat. What's sort of different in this latest version is a new component that they're calling Tarmac. Now, the issue with OS X is if you are downloading software using the browser, it's being marked as untrusted, as downloaded from the web. So the first time you're actually running this malware, there is a warning message. Now, OS X Slayer is actually digitally signed with a valid Apple developer certificate. So that makes it a little bit easier to run even if you only allow signed software to run. But the problem it has then is that, well, it wants to download additional components. Now, what Tarmac apparently does is pretty simple. It uses the curl binary, which is delivered on all versions of Mac OS to download these additional components. Unlike Safari, curl does not mark binaries as untrusted, so they can be run. Pretty straightforward, pretty sort of simple bypass of uh, the Mac OS uh, Gatekeeper X Protect system. Of course, the user still needs to install that initial piece of malware that is still typically being downloaded via a web browser. 
And a lot of current malware, not just for Mac OS, does rely on the user actually installing the initial piece of malware. Another Apple example we have here from Cisco's Talos Research team is what they're calling Check Rain. It actually uses the recent jailbreak as a lure, claiming to be a version of the Check Rain jailbreak. And well, instead that it's actually installing malware. Well, and this is it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow.